Hey folks, today's video is another video on how to clean your flow frames. As you can see, this one's pretty gross again. Now this time, we're going to do it in a slightly different fashion. We're going to use an ultrasonic cleaner. Now this ultrasonic cleaner, I've already filled it up with the cleaning fluid. So that's basically just water and a specific detergent. In this instance, the detergent we're using is EnviroCleaner. I've used this before when I've worked on boats. So the first thing we have to do is turn it on. And I've got it set to 65 degrees Celsius. Now that's going to take about an hour or so to come up to temperature. So what we need to do in the meantime is pull this frame apart, um, which you've seen my video on how to do that. And from there, I'm going to take this over to the workshop and blow the worst of this crud off using an air compressor. So you'll see me next doing that. And then we'll come back once this ultrasonic cleaner is up to temperature and we'll start the process. Okay, so you can see how these disgusting these blades are. So what we do with the air compressor um, is we're just going to blow off all the excess or, or what they call gross debris bits like these bits of wax and these cobwebby things now before you start using the air compressor you will need eye protection all this stuff is going to be flying through the air the last thing you need is to lose an eye because you've got wax and other stuff in it so wear eye protection dust mask is also recommended again this stuff goes quite the distance as well as wearing earmuffs, the noise of the air compressor or the compressed air spurting out as well as when the air compressor kicks in. You really do want to protect your hearing, especially if you're standing right next to the air compressor. So all we're doing is, first thing, we're going to blow off all this excess and then we run our fingers along the blades to break down these bits of wax that are sitting there and then we give it another blow through again. So let's do that. So we've got rid of the majority of it, now we just run our fingers along the frames and then blow off that excess. Grab the next one, see this one's quite manky as well. That's all just old propolis. And then again, just run your fingers down the frame and give it another blow. One more. This is a good job to be doing while the water in the cleaner is heating up. So that's all there is to it. Do the whole frame and when it's ready to go, we'll come back and you'll see us cleaning these in the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, so here we are back in here. The ultrasonic cleaner is almost up to temperature, only a couple of degrees away. But what I've done here is these frames, they're light plastic, so they have a habit of floating. So what I've done is just got some old bolts and I've threaded them through the ends of the frames to weigh them down a bit and then the small frames I've threaded them through the ends of the small frames too just to hold them in place so I've got them in the basket and I've put the, the handles of the basket inside to make it easier to grab so I'm gonna take the lid off that lid is pretty hot. I don't want to put my hand in that. But we're just going to quietly put that in there. And that bolt will hold it down. So they're all covered. You can see the wax is starting to come off. Now if you are going to use an ultrasonic cleaner, I do recommend using earmuffs with it. 
because it makes a rather awful noise. Um, I'll put the lid down as well. So the noise, we're going to give it 20 minutes. That's the noise. So I'm going to let it do its thing for 20 minutes and then come back out and put them in a tub of water to rinse the clean solution off. You can see those bubbles coming up on the Okay, 20 minutes is up, so we'll take these out. They're looking pretty good. Just dump them in there. That water's hot, I'm not sticking my hands in that. Bowl to be hot. So this is just to wash off the residue of the detergent. And these have come out spick and span. So here we are, all complete. These are the last ones through for this frame. So it takes about four loads through the ultrasonic cleaner to get them all done. Um, I'm really impressed with how they've come up. So it's just a case of just rinsing off the detergent residue and drying them. But look at this, that water was beautiful and green when we started. Now look how brown and hideous that water is. Sorry, it's steaming up. I've turned it off. But yeah, that's very, very thick brown. Um, luckily this does have a little drain on the side, so I'll empty it. And um, yeah, actually, I might as well empty that now so you can see what color it is. Excuse me while I try and do this one handed. Now, I got caught out last time because it comes out with quite a bit of pressure. see the colour coming out. Definitely not green anymore, is it? Yep. Look at that colour, folks. That shows you just how much gunk is on these frames, that that can go from a beautiful pale lime green to that coffee colour, and those frames have come out beautifully clear. Right, so to blow them dry, just your air compressor and roll them over and that's it done and you can see how well these pieces have come up they had all that propolis and gunk on them and I'm really really happy see how much water with how well these have come up these were really gunky all up through here and down here and they've come up really well. these pretty much look like new again so here we go this is the completed frame I've put it back together you can see how clean that has come out. This has blown me away. Any crud that's on it is just because my workbench is filthy. You can 
can see just how clean these frames have come out. This is the next three frames ready to go. So I've just broken them apart. Still got to hit them with the air compressor. And then I've got another two frames to go as well. So I think that's going to be the work for me for this weekend is doing another five more frames. Getting ready to put them on my hives. Oh well, thank you very much for watching team. If you've got a ultrasonic cleaner I really would recommend it as probably the best and easiest way of doing a really thorough deep clean of your flow frames.